Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Puya Sadri Dev. I'm Sir Puya Sadri Fad, aka Puya Sadri. And here in this tutorial series, we're gonna take a look at uh, Gene Framework uh, for Golang. Uh, it's been a long time that I don't, uh, I didn't do the uh, Go tutorials. So if you are familiar with Go. Uh, enjoy the ride with me for G gene framework for golang if you don't familiar just hit the pause button and go and see my short uh, playlist on golang or if you want you can uh, just go to the go.dev here it is the official site uh, for website for golang and here uh, we have the companies that uh, uses Go, Google, like Google, PayPal, American Express, Microsoft, Uber, Meta, and so on and so forth. So the Golang is one of the most popular languages on the planet right now at, at late 2023. So uh, you can build almo almost anything with Golang, web development, CLI interfaces, <coughs> and network services, microservices, DevOps apps, and so on. So, in this tutorial, uh, in this series of tutorial, we're going to take a look at web development with Gene Framework. So let's dive in. Uh, before we dive in, uh, if you want a detailed, pro uh, detailed tutorial for Golang, you can just go to the Learn How to Code, uh, Google's Golang Programming Languages on Udemy. Uh, this one is one of the best tutorial uh, out there for Golang. You see the rating are so good from uh, Todd McLeod and um, I myself uh, uses this use uh, used to watch this tutorial for Golang and this is so great so I recommend it to you to uh, go ahead and take a look at this tutorial so what is Gene Framework? Gene is a web framework written in Golang it features a martini like API with much better performance up to 14 time, 40 times faster thanks to HTTP route. If you need performance and good productivity, you will love Gene. Yep, we all do that, <laughs> we all want that. So it features this fast middleware support, crash free, JSON validation, routes grouping, error management, rendering built-in, Gene provides an easy to use API to, for JSON, XML, and HTML re rendering. That's so great and extendable. So here we go. This is uh, the Gene repository on GitHub. So you can uh, import it like this and add it to your project like so. Uh, in this first video, I'm gonna take a look at just this uh, simple example. Uh, and it just for introduction for goal uh, gene framework and Golang and in the others I will do some pro real project and I will ask you to do some for me and this is an interactive tutorial don't worry about that you're gonna learn a lot uh, learn about 0 to 100 uh, for gene framework so uh this is uh, it and for this tutorial series i'm gonna use the visual studio code if you have it that's great if you don't have it you can just download it for free and uh, when you install it just uh let me just get rid of these just make sure to install this extension go and this is go Go by Go team at Google, and it has uh, a verification uh, mark here. So if you uh, install this, it just cool. So let me just open my terminal here, and let's make it bigger. So I want to change the directory to desktop, and I want to make a directory for our tutorial series Gene tutorial don't worry about the code i will uh, put a github link in the description and you can see what i i'm doing next or yeah uh, you can cheat but i don't do not recommend it 
So we have created an directory and Vim tutorial. So I will use code that. And here we have the Gene tutorial, I think. Nope. I think that. Yep, here we have it. So the first thing first, we're gonna tell you, uh, we're gonna make a file named main.go. So here we have a package main here and a font name for our app. Here we go and command and s and here we save it. So for initializing our module, we have to use. Let me just open our te my terminal here in VS Code. So here, right there, and I type go mod init and our module name in tutorial. Yep. So here we have it, and then I just copy and paste these. Uh, this command go get dash u github.com <coughs> so it fetched the gene uh, framework for us and now we are good to go so here in this example let me just go through it uh, we have a router and the route slash the slash ping and it returns a JSON message for Pong. Yep. So let me just define my router and I'm in call gene dot default. Yep. And here we have the router dot get and our route that is ping and Whenever I enter slash ping in our web app, it runs this function. Punk. Yep, it accepts the context of gene.context. So here we have the um, our uh, context at JSON. This is our responder. But JSON and for our JSON we have the status code that is HTTP dot status status OK and then we have the um, gene dot H and here we have our JSON our JSON that is going to message and this is on. So here, here we have it and then we have to router say router.run <coughs> here we go this is a, a very simple a web application that has a rap, get router and it responds a JSON file to us so uh, let me just open up my terminal and see it in the real world. So I say clear. Here we go. And I say go run main. That's good. So it runs, and we have just one. <coughs> you see, we have just one router route for slash that ping slash ping, and it runs out of our font. So here, if I <coughs> go to my browser and just say message, um, let me just zoom in. Yep, we have our JSON file that goes for message and pong. And if I change this, hello, uh, this is to <coughs> let me just keep the message here. And it says hello, world, um, Framework. framework. So let me just um, pause it and then rerun it again. And here we go, we have it. And yep, message hello world from Gene Framework. So that's it for this tutorial. <coughs> uh, 
if you like it like uh, hit the like button hit the share button and share it with your friends that's would a uh, word to me and yeah let's uh let your friends to be in the process our tutorial and learn together because it's so much funner and you can um, learn a lot together and yep hit the subscribe button hit the like button and share it with your friends have a good time and until the next one see you